Hello everyone, we are here with Burak Yeter and Alessandro. <laughs> Burak, Alessandro, thank you so much for this interview. Welcome to Una Voce per San Marino. How are you feeling before the final next Saturday? I'm very happy because I'm here for the first time with my best friend. Actually, we have kind of space concept for you guys, something very different because we always try to open the page for music industry. So that's why we choose the space concept. concept. And we changed the lyrics. We really like to catch the stars, which means with next to me, Mr. Alexandro. Maybe you can continue. It's going to be is awesome for our group. Absolutely. The, um, the concept is that we're going to give people new hopes. Mm -hmm. um, because what we lost after this bad COVID times, after these restrictions was most of, the, most of all, uh, the ability to dream, right? Mm -hmm. So we're gonna be able to bring them the stars, bring them the dream, bring them the, the space. And that's, that's where the whole space context concept takes uh, place. I'm also uh, very proud to be here representing San Marino in this festival because I'm from Romagna, originally from Rimini. Okay. So uh, I, feel, I feel home right now and I'm, I'm able to bring such an important uh, international character right to us so that's amazing you, you said he's your best friend yeah that's how the <laughs> collaboration bo was born actually I used to live in everywhere actually because I really like to catch which is something crazy talent which I find Alessandro this really catches stuff for me which means like he really showed this kind of image for the people because this is my another face which means like I have right side he's the left side which okay. means like we all together is an old package that's why we're going to stage with astronaut dressing uh, which means like we try to for um, some kind of message for the people future is the space and future are for for us that's why we for uh, for the people we want to give message for the people more than you and of course i have to say burak you're an international artist superstar over a billion hits for you alessandro how is it to have a friend like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like you said, it's a, it's a mutual uh, feeling of uh, big respect and big um, consideration, artistically speaking. For me, of course, it's an honor uh, because this guy has made, he's been in the industry for so long. I'm, I'm very young, I'm still making my, uh, you know, my moves. Um, and it's a big opportunity, it's a big, um, big moment for me. And uh, I'm really happy to be sharing it with Thank a nice so person like Burak. I could have been so doing it with uh, nobody else, to be honest. Why love Una Voce per San Marino? Why San Marino and first, most of all, why Eurovision? Are you, it's been Eurovision on your heads for, for a long time? So if you, if yeah, I actually, might, <laughs> okay. Yeah, I used to play many festivals, like biggest festivals around the world. Mm -hmm. Eurovision, it was, it was my dream when I was, uh, you know, 10, 11 years old. And even three years ago, it was one of the Turkish guy was here represent San Marino, Mr. Serhat actually. When I saw it in stage, yeah, it's, it's also possible for another countries because music is everything, everywhere. It doesn't matter where you came from, who you are. The only thing, uh, San Marino is really big opportunity for us. Uh, of course, we will do best with space concept. It works for everywhere actually, not just for the another countries. Um, this is really big dreams. Uh, dreams came true with Alessandro. I can say fate actually. I believe this things is coming from my heart. His heart was the same situation. We collab together, we're going to stage with symphonic orchestra, mm -hmm. space and so like different sound, like which means like typical house music and bracket signature sound. And I think it's gonna be awesome. Like uh, this is something different. This is something unique actually. And being based as an artist, I'm just gonna add a little thing because I agree about anything he said. Um, a little concept is that I'm based in New York, I do music okay. in the US and that's where I'm trying to develop my career. So for me, finding an opening with a more of a European uh, length instead mm -hmm. of just doing a national Italian one, it's, that's why somebody was such a great choice uh, for us to, to participate and, you know, like you said. And, and have you thought uh, somehow to participate in San Remo? I mean, yeah, that's, uh, it's very different though, because if you, if you think about it, uh, this festival allows you to sing in English. Mm -hmm. That's what I do when I'm in the regular. I can also sing in Italian. Of course, Sanremo yeah. remains one of my goals in, the, in my career. But um, for now, this is where I want to be, when I want to be. Of course, this year, Eurovision is going to be held in Italy yeah. and in Torino. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So most of Italians are, well, the ones who are really into Eurovision are very proud of that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, for you as an Italian, what does that mean to, uh, you know, your home country is the one hosting Eurovision? It's absolutely something that I'm really proud of. Out of all the achievements that Italy has, uh, has 
gone through in the past year. This is just the icing on the cake. I think it's a big honor for us to do that with artists that are actually singing in, in Italian as well, mm -hmm. which is a super news for, for the Eurovision, if I'm not wrong. I think uh, English has been the, the singing language of, of the competition forever, and now having Maneskin representing Italy and in, in Europe, th for me, it's, it's a big leap forward. And I'm, you know. Yeah, we like to reach more people actually because behind us, of course, yeah, we have biggest flags, which is San Marino actually, yeah. even which is my favorite color, blue and the white. And also, I'm going to stage with blue. He's going to stage with white. This is something combined all together. This is something insane from our inside. And I have some, and I'm, I'm very curious about your answer for this question because you know this year's Eurovision slogan. Yes. The sound of beauty. Yeah. And you create beautiful music. Thank you. What is the sound of beauty for you? Are, are you bringing the sound of beauty? It's, it's, it, yeah. What is the beauty inside? The beauty inside, the, the music is coming from the classic music. That's mm -hmm. why I bring some classic uh, instruments on the stage. Yes. Uh, because I used to work with many superstars around the world. I used to play biggest festivals. But it's time to make crazy combination with classic music and little EDM, which mm -hmm. means like this is time to make collaboration with DJs and the singers. That's why we want to give kind of message for the people um, DJ is not behind the scenes, DJ also front side, which means like next to DJ and next to artist, which means like all together going to stage, hand on hand, going to together all, all around the world. And plus space concept. Yeah, this is our inspiration from our set. When he was also childhood, I think it was your dream. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. That's <laughs> why, been. That's why for the region we give kind of message for the people, look, one day we will play in the space. It's just beginning for us. See, we, uh, out of all the things we found uh, having common, that's also one of them, you know? Yeah. Uh, and also, yeah, uh, like you said, the, the DJ does, has to be conceived as an artist. Nowadays, we're used to have a DJ in the back and the artist in the front, or even like a DJ featuring an artist. No, nowadays, what we're trying to represent here is a duo, like a dual combination of two different sounds yeah. that come from different parts of the world, different influences, but that can come as one and make something beautiful, the beauty of music. Yeah. Just the beauty of music is unity, you know, being able to unite and that's what it's doing right now for us. So this is for us, but I, I've heard your, I, I've seen your rehearsal and okay. I, I can say the, the song is <laughs> really nice. Thank and you I much. really Appreciate like the, the, uh, yeah, the instruments. Of course, people doesn't know the song. It's yeah. going to be out on Saturday or before if you decided or, to release. Or later. Or later? Who knows? Okay, who knows? <laughs> Let's keep it. My inside is boring, actually. I'm going to release right now, but you know. Uh, that's, uh, that's right. But I know you have, yeah. you have more surprises for Saturday, right? We like to make oh, surprises. Yeah. Because we didn't, I mean, we didn't sew everything today. Oh, no, hell no. No, no, no. no. no, no. Maybe, no, no. maybe 40 person, yeah. Yeah. We have oh, 60 oh, person more, yeah. Okay. Uh, this is just beginning uh, for us. Mm -hmm. This is just beginning for us. We really like to give message for the people. And the next step is going to be, we will launch all together this space one day. Oh, wow. This yeah. is a promise today. Yeah. What is it? February 17th, 2022? Yes. Promise for y'all. We're gonna promise. do it. We're gonna be in space performing one day. Very soon. Okay. With this song. And soon, you know, space trips are going to be possible. So, yeah, yeah I, I, I'm sure that 100%. it's going to be true. Guys, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Please, a final message for all of the people and Eurovision fans who are watching you through WeWe Blogs. I want to say thank you to everyone which is following to us, which is writing a lot of messages. I want to say thank you to everyone. This is Alessandro. Uh, thank you so much as well for the support. You've been amazing. This is an amazing new journey for us. Follow us through the whole journey and you won't be disappointed. More than you for you guys. More Love you, you so much. Peace. Thank you so much.